grace of God. And what it really boils down to is this. We have, to, we have to get into a righteous standing with God. And to get into a righteous standing with God, only, only, only uh, Jesus Christ dying on the cross and being buried and rising to defeat death could bring us back into a right relation with God. That's if we have faith and believe in him. So if you have, don't have faith and believe in him, then you still ain't in the right relation with God. And only God can decide who you're in the right relation with. You can't decide. If you, just because you think you are in the right relation, no, God decided. And God decided that, it, do you really believe? Now see, there are some people just say a sad thing, but do they really believe? They might not understand that. If you don't believe, God said, do you believe in your heart? And if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, and that, he, that he died and died on the cross and that he rose from the dead, then you can be saved. That was God's redemption plan. See, God want to bring us back into a right relationship with him. Because without being in a right, right, right relationship with him, we are at the mercy of the enemy, which is Satan's. And, and if, to be at, at the mercy of the enemy, all you got to do is go to Job. And I like Job. Now, Job was righteous. Job was righteous, but he had to suffer, even though he was righteous for us. And once God take his hand off of you, you're in trouble. See what all happened to Job. It happened because God, God didn't do anything to Job. All God did was took his hands off for him. All right. We'll go ahead and try to get down into the lesson then. I'm just giving you a brief account of things that was going on here. Uh, it said, for, the, for if the inheritance of the law it is no more of a promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. All right. But then it said that God, God gave Abraham a promise that, like I said, his seed. Matter of fact, let's see if we get the promise here. I ain't like Brother Terry. Terry got he like work on his little his little phone. He can do it with. I don't I don't work on do mess around with the phone. Okay. All right. All right. Paul used the word inheritance. A key theme in his argument about the law and the promise of God. He used them inherit to refer to the status of Sharon and the blessing of Abraham in right covenant relationship to God as symbolized and confirmed by the gift of the Holy Spirit. God is the active agent who gives the promise of inheritance to Abraham and his hero. This is made perfectly clear by Paul in verse 18b when he says, But God gave it to Abraham by promise. Paul was intent on emphasizing that it is God who, are, who acts freely to give grace and bless through promise, not through law. The mention of the law be explained with a hindrance to this freely promised grace. An inheritance. Go ahead, go ahead, Miss Lou. An inheritance is something granted. Yes. He, he granted. Yes, That's the key word to this Sunday school lesson is faithfulness. Yes, ma'am. That's right. Faith, faith in believing in believing in, in, in God or Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. Believing what he said, believing he's gonna do what he said. Okay. As Louis said the problem is believing in what he says, God God said what he's gonna do. That's the right, that's right, Miss Louis. Okay. Yeah. Uh -uh. 
Well, Judaism was teaching that it was the law. Yeah. That's, now, that's, wait a minute. Okay. Now, wait a minute. The law was good. God didn't come here to abolish the law. Yes, ma'am. Because if we didn't have laws, we didn't think we'd be The law was just to govern us to, to, to go our transgression. Keep us, keep us, to keep us in land until, until the arrival of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And show us what, and show us what I see in will. Yeah, the law was, the law was just, the law was just done temporarily. Uh, but God was always working in our, working in our benefit, and, 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 and the whole main plan was, was to get with to, to the arrival of Jesus Christ to redeem us from, from, from the fall that we made, that, that Adam, that Adam put us in. Okay. But you've got to trust him. Yes, man. And obey him. Do you think we trust and obey him, obey him now? We fall short. We fall, we definitely fall short. We fall short. But if we was if, But the thing about it, we are here to get what? We can repeat it. Go right back over there. But, but if we were still if we was under the law, if you fall short of any of the law, you have you you were punished. Matter of fact, under the under the law, under the law, not only could they, 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 not only could they just punch, they could kill you for for not doing what. You... And you know what? Let me tell you something. We get we get punished under grace. Yeah. We get punished under grace. Yeah. We do. Yeah, right. We get punished under grace because for the simple reason, I believe, I surely believe. Oh, yes, man. Yeah, you can reap what you sow. And if you sow a bad seed, what? You're going to reap a bad seed. So. Well, God said, if you love me, he will bless you. That's and, exactly and, if you, and if you hate me, then you're going to be cursed. If you love me, you'll obey me. If you love me. And see, that, that, that God promises right here for all is trying to get these folks to see. Uh, But when the law is important. Them two laws like right that is what, what your, 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 your salvation all that ends. But you got the enemy working though. Of He's always trying to tell you you don't need this. If you got Amen. you can go ahead and do this. And you can do this. It's all right. Let me, let me tell you something. You still think too. Don't you never think you know like they said, uh, put the devil on your feet and stomp him. <laughs> no, it ain't so. It ain't so. It ain't so. Call, 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 call the devil. Honey, it's powerful. It's powerful. Yeah, only way. It's powerful. Only, only way we can. And, 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 and if, if, if the truth be told and we tell the truth, it gets in all of us sometimes. All right, man. Yeah. I know I'm telling the truth. But, but that, but that just gives us the reason why we need Jesus. There you because go. only, only through, that's through that's Christ Jesus. Yeah, everything we do, it's not our power. It's his power. I, I, I like the way Paul, way, way Paul used to always open up, open up when he was saying that. Everything he do, through Christ Jesus, needs taken on up to God. But it always through Christ Jesus. Because, because, yes. Yes, follow me as I follow, if I follow Jesus. But the only way that you can, you can fight the devil is with God's spirit. That's it. You can't do it like the you, you, sure, you sure can't. You cannot do it. And that's what I, and that's our biggest problem. We try to do it without, and we think that we can do it. I mean, I, if I got enough money in my pocket, I can do it. No. <laughs> that money ain't going to do you no good. That money ain't going to do you no good. I mean, because if, if, come on, come on. If God, if, if, if God, if God is, is not with you,
Okay, all right. Wherefore then served the law? It was added because of transgressions. Still the seed should come by whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by the angels of the hands of a mediator. All right, when you get down, we're talking about a mediator. The mediator, the mediator was Moses. Moses. Uh, the, law, the, law, the, law was, the law was done, uh, like I said, for, to, to keep, to sort of keep us in line. Later on in the lesson, it says we saw like a schoolmaster just keep you keep you in line and make sure make sure you're doing the right thing. Sort of sort of get you used to used to being under control. Because if, if you didn't have the law, if you didn't have laws in the, in the country, uh, oh, ain't no telling what what would happen to it if we didn't have some kind of law. Because anytime you don't have a law, somebody gonna do something they don't supposed to be doing. The enemy will run will run just wild then. So you had to have law. And they sort of go, and under the law, under the law, they govern themselves, sort of. Because I, uh, favorite one I like to think about is uh, uh, Aiken. And when they went, when they tried to invade AI, when they went to AI, and they didn't do what God said. One Aiken had uh, took the stuff that he didn't supposed to be taking, and God took his hands off for him, and, uh, and a bunch of them got killed. That scared them. That really scared them. When they went back, I think they killed Aiken's whole family. Didn't they? That's the right, Pastor. They killed the whole family because under the law, if one of y'all did something, you could throw all of us into trouble. We all had to suffer for you because one one person did something that, that, that was just God. When God moved His hand, all of you were stuck. And a mediator is just like a lawyer. Huh? A mediator is like a lawyer. Yeah, mediator was just but. Your, your God gave Moses the, me, Moses the mediator between God and his angels because he gave the law to Moses to give to the people. So, and like I said, that was just to keep, that was just to keep them, to keep, to keep, to keep for their transgression to, 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 the, to the seed came, which was, was, was Jesus. Okay, uh, there go, that goes in what we just said. Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. And let us know that God is the mediator by itself. It says a mediator needs to have two things going on, but God is one. God don't need nobody else to mediate to, to be in a comfort. He, he do everything by himself. He's one. He is one. Of course, and when I looked at the mediator uh, uh, on Father, like I said, we, 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 could, we could say that God is more than one. God the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. So, and, uh, and all these are working in our life. Yeah, Jesus, uh, yeah, Jesus is to be, he is mediated between us and God. Yeah. But Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are all one. Yeah. So, uh, yes, that's what I was saying. So, after yes, and yes. <laughs> yes. See, so, yeah. Is that right, Pastor? Right. So, we, yeah, yeah. And that, and, and that we, and we get, we, we, we get, we get a lot, we get confused on that a lot. Matter of fact, I, I had some, had one, someone tell me once, that uh, they were different. The guy and Jesus wouldn't say nothing because I didn't argue with him on it. Well, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of religion to say because uh, I know uh, my, my, my first cousin, you know, witnessed it, and she said that uh, there was no such a thing as <laughs> the Bible about that Jesus was God's son. They didn't believe in it. Uh, they don't believe in the Trinity. Well, that's, that's 
said that's where, that's where the enemy comes in. He, he always start, trying to start something. If there's, if there's a way to, to divide, he like what he do, divide and conquer. If, if, if I say something that I don't even mean to harm you, Mr. Louis, the next day you know the enemy will take it, put it all out of proportion and make it look like I, I don't say something wrong to you. And you be mad at me and I'm mad at you, now we got confusion. This is, and this is what and this this is what these false teachers were doing in, in this church. Cause Galatians started out, they started out doing good, and all these false teachers came in Judah and said, "Whoa, wait a minute, we want to get circumcised." That's all the time the devil comes. Yeah. Whenever yeah, you're right, Pastor. Whenever you're doing good, and you can believe that. Whenever you're doing good, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. If you, That's the it. same spirit it was in the Galatian church as well as other churches. They were doing well. People were moving forward. People were getting saved. And then all of a sudden, these other folks come in trying to bring them backwards instead of them to move forward with what Paul had already taught them. They want to go back to circumcision. They want to go back to the law. They want to go back to holidays and festivals. Back, back, back. And because people struggle when they see God moving forward. Mm -hmm. Right. The enemy, the enemy trying to block that. He don't want to get saved. He does not want any of us to get saved. He don't want any of us to live right. He don't want any of us to be blessed. That's his job. He comes to what? Steal, kill, kill, and to destroy. That's How it. does he do that? Distractions, dissension, and division. That's it. That's it. That would be a revelation for us today. That would be a revelation for us today. When we... When the enemy come, come, come against us, we ought to know we're doing good. Because if we weren't doing it, doing good, he wouldn't be against us. That's right. And he don't come against nobody he already got. He just wants us to try to do something. That's the truth. That's the truth. So, so, that, so, when, when, so when the enemy get busy, all you got, all you got to do is just, just, just tell the Lord, thank you for all everything he has done for you. Realize that I'm, I must be doing something good because I ain't got the enemy taking out to me. So, so that's a good revelation. Thank you, Pastor. All right. Let's go on down and see how much time I got. Huh? Let's go on down to verse 21. Is the law then against the promise of God? And well, I think we covered some of that. No, the law wasn't against the, against the promises of God. Uh, he, said, Paul, he said, God forbid, for if there had been a law given which would have given law life, very righteous should have been by the law. It wasn't against the problem, but it wasn't saying the law, the law couldn't give life. Now, it wasn't against the problem, it wasn't against, I, well, I guess it probably would against the promise of God. God promised, God had promised that, uh, uh, that the seed, the seed, the seed of uh, Abraham would one day be an inheritance, which was with Jesus, and that through our faith in Jesus Christ, that we were born, that we'd be born, and we, born, born with him, and then we'll become a seed a coherency of, of, of Jesus Christ. So, uh, did I cover that good for you? Did anybody miss what we're saying? All right. Verily righteous should have been by the law. Okay. But the scripture has clued all sin under the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. And this takes us back to what scripture, what scripture said that it says that by the faith of Jesus Christ, and if we believe, if we believe, then we are born with Christ, and we are seed in the kingdom. We talk, and we talk about the kingdom. We talk about the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. You know, I think the Jew, I think the Jew, uh, Jew, Judaism was actually thinking about the kingdom of the earth, whereas they. It was God talking about the kingdom that Jesus is going to build for us. So Jesus built up the kingdom, not, 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 not made by man. He's talking about another kingdom. Is that right, Pastor? Say that again. When we were talking, we not, when we talking about the kingdom, we're talking about the kingdom of Jesus. The kingdom of, 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 of 
in heaven. Not the kingdom, not the kingdom of this world. Yeah, see, but the Judaizer, what they're concerned with, they, I, 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 uh, I would say, with the kingdom, with, with what they got in this world. Okay. You got a question, Louis? Okay. But before faith came, we were kept under law. Faith, in this, in this, in this right here, is representing uh, Christ. We started, like I said, the law, the law was done until, we, until Jesus came. We, we stayed under the law to atone for our trans transgression that we had and to keep us in line until, until he came, until he not, not just came, but until he died and went to the cross. I mean, and, and got up. So before Jesus got up, then we were still under the law. But once Jesus got up from his grave, then we were, we were, under, we were under grace. Under grace, then, and grace, and grace is, and grace is simple. Just that that we believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and our Savior, and that He woke us up. Not that He woke us up, but he, but He, uh, but but He 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 died for our sins, and that if we believe that He is our Lord and Savior, and He died for sin, and He got up on that third day, then we are we are saved. And this is what you call justification. If we believe. We are justified for our sins, that sins that, that Adam told us in, and Jesus Christ brought us back out of it. We are considered righteous with God. See, the, the, the thing here is, are you righteous with God? Are we righteous with God? Being righteous means that, we, that he, 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 he has forgiven us for all the sins we have done. And because we, we took our sins and put them on Jesus. We took our sins, we died, and all our sins went to Jesus. And, and he, when he got, when he went down and came back up, Grave, and if we believe, then we are we, we are we are inherited of his, of his kingdom. And as long as we stay righteous with God, then we'll be blessed. No, nah, it was temporary. Yeah, because what this was saying here was see, uh, law can law can give you life. That's why Jesus said, I come to give you life. See, see cause we are, we, cause we are dead in sin until, until we are born in Christ, in Christ Jesus and the Spirit. So until we, until we, until we are born, until we, until we take uh, Jesus out, Christ as our Lord and Savior, uh, then, we are, then we are still dead. Yes. Reveal all I see. It was to reveal. That's what the law was for. Well, it was. To reveal your transgressions. Your, yeah. your, your wrongdoing. That's what the law was for. But he couldn't heal it until grace comes. That's what the promise means. The promise means. No, it couldn't. But uh, but the Judaizer was trying to say the law, even though even though the law was was four hundred something years uh, after they gave the promise, the Judaizer was trying to throw it in with it with with, with us with the uh, with the promise. And and this is where Paul had the problem with. And this is where a lot what, a lot happened with false teaching, where we try to say uh, uh, different things. I, and, and I ain't gonna go into them to to, to get our point across. And it, and, and it really they got brought out of one thing. Do you know Jesus? Well, I, you know the law was fulfilled when Jesus came. Yeah. So we, the law was fulfilled when he got the, that, 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 that promise seed. That promise seed. Wow. Right. Yeah, it couldn't, it, yeah, it couldn't bring life.
Yeah, there's no way, there's no way you can keep up with the law. It has so many laws. You got to go to school just to learn all them laws. I mean, I, I got tired of trying to read all of them. I read a few of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, go ahead, Pastor. Because it affected the play. But if you back over 
here over here, ain't got nothing to do, play, play, go away over there. And the Lord says, God, hold on here, because that doesn't affect the spirit of the rule. It's not, it's not, it doesn't apply, because it's really not at the point of, of action. And that's what happens with a lot of the laws that we argue about, even in the Bible. And, uh, and it's in the Word of God, right? But those, those applied at that time, because that was over there. But now we're way over here, right? Now some principles stay. The Ten, All right, the Ten Commandments. Right. The Ten Commandments. <laughs> it never went away. Many people say many people try to say that he didn't hold. You gotta understand. Read the Ten Commandments. There's nothing wrong in there. Not one thing. If you lived it today, you live it right. And that's what we gotta understand. The spirit of the law. That's that's why you can't you can't separate old of a new from your in the Bible. Because that's up uh, in your first mission principle. Mm -hmm. right there. You begin. Mm -hmm. First mission principle. It stands all the way through this Bible. And you know, I, I mean, I'll hear you on this subject, but I just got it. Well, you can talk about it. Uh, <coughs> the law, you know. That's been, you know, this year, Abortion thing. I can, I can run it down. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to run it down with a little lady. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do. And where did it come from? The blue. That's it. The color. You got to know everything. That's what it comes from. But see, I'll tell you, I look at as a pastor. No. Pastor. No. Say 
same thing that Jesus and Paul was telling them then and now. It doesn't matter how many laws you put in place. If the people heart don't change, that's where they they still gonna be evil. We can, we can, I don't care what they say, they can outlaw everything. They can make everything they want illegal, but that's not gonna change the heart of the people. You know what it's gonna do? Put both folks to look like us again. Yeah. See, we gotta be, we gotta be very careful not to be fooled by this, by a lot of this stuff. That's the same thing that Paul is telling them. Don't let these folks fool you. You doing all this stuff ain't gonna save you. You having all these laws, you got all whatever you want. How long did they fight prohibition? Folk out here running around on back roads with whiskey in the back of the car, uh, getting hooched down to the whatever place, and, and the police chasing them, they pay off the police, did all, all this stuff because they're calling it sin. Every church, oh, they're going to hell, it's sin. They, you know what? The Bible tells us. If, if we don't repent, repent don't just mean ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Repent yeah. means turn. Right. If you don't repent and come back to your first love, which is Jesus Christ, which is God and His, and his Son, Jesus, then you will still be on your way to the devil's head. That's just the truth. Yes. And it don't matter if it's legal or illegal. Come on. It's not legal to murder, but we've watched over the last 10 years young African American men laying down in the street unarmed, being murdered, and people taking up for them and calling themselves Christian. You can't choose to be righteous on one day and then not be righteous on another. You can't say it. You can't be all holy on, on homosexual marriage, but then be silent on hate. Take care of all our needs. 
And then when we get to that point, we, uh, we don't have to worry about the law. All right, but after that faith has come, we are no longer under the schoolmaster. For you are all children of God by yes. faith in Christ Jesus. Yes. And what they're saying, it don't make no difference who you are, how poor you are, how rich you are. I don't care if you're in jail or what. If you believe in Christ Jesus, that's what it says. If you agree with Christ Jesus, then you can be saved. That's it. You can be saved. Uh, now, in the law, I, I, like I said, I, I got tired of reading all these laws. I don't tell you what might happen to you under that law. <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of reading the law. They, they had so many laws that you like, wait a minute, they got law for this and law for that. All right. For as many of us have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. They're saying that when we are baptized into him, we become like Christ. And when we become like Christ, we should, come, we should be righteous like Christ. We should think like Christ. And we should love, we should, we should love, love, love our neighbors like Christ. And we should, we, we, should, we, should, we, should, we should be what God intended us to be. To Christ, to Christ, Christ even, though, even, even though he had all kind of power, he took a whole lot just for our sin. And I don't think no man could have did that. Because man would man would have copped out and got scared when he did it. But 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 God, but Christ, Christ went on to the, his grave for us. So what, Miss Louis? He got weak. Turn around and did it. But, but I think he might have been just trying to show us that even though sometimes we might get weak, still it's up to God to do it. Of course. Of course. That's the nice thing. Yes, ma'am. Even with grace, we're going to go. We're going to fall. If we're going to be all we see. <laughs> we don't practice mistakes. Ain't no mistakes. There's ain't no mistakes, Pastor. Ain't no mistakes. We just do it. We know, you know we. You know what you're doing. We know what we're doing. Hey, as my grandma would say, you do it wrong. <laughs> All right, it says there, 28, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one yes. in Christ Jesus. Yes. Which takes us back to what we've been saying all along, that we, are all, we, we can all be born in Christ Jesus. It don't make no difference who we are, and we have the same status. I mean, I'm not worth no more than, than, than Miss Louise. I mean, he... And, 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 and the man that got all the money, the rich man that got money, if he if if, if he's in Christ Jesus, Let him die. He's yeah, he just he, he, him, him and me the same. I ain't got no money, he got it. But once we die in Christ Jesus, we the same. We all go back to the earth. We the same. <laughs> all right. If you belong to Christ, then you are you are Abraham C and Earl according to the promise. This this saying that. We are heirs to the promise, of, the promise that God made to Abraham. If we, if we are, if we are in Christ, and that's according to the promise that God, that God made to Abraham, because of Abraham righteousness, that that he would, that he would, that he, that he would, he would make his kingdom great, and that we would all, we could, we could all inherit the same kingdom, and if we were born in Christ Jesus. All right. I believe about time, what time we got here? 1028. Well, that concludes my lesson. If anybody got any more questions, conversation they want to do for the day. You got anything, Pastor? Miss Louise? Laverne? Anybody else?
know they accepted Christ, but they still want a little line or something that separated them. But then today, during some time, they say, you know, you can't be saved unless you're in this church here, this denomination, I can go over here. But we all, I hope the whole Bible is what we study and being guided from. That's right. Well, it's not really this Bible church. This is Christ Jesus, then you will follow his you'll follow you'll follow what he what he preached. I mean you'll be obedient to his word. So it don't really make no difference what church you can go to. You can go to any church you want to as long as you follow Jesus. That's right. That's it. Follow his word in the book. It, it, it tell you, it, he'll lead you in the, the Holy Spirit will lead you in the path of righteousness. Amen. All right, I know I that's, that's, my time is up. I want to thank y'all for the being here this morning. Thank you. Pastor Gaz, anything you want to say?